All right, welcome back to another install video. Today we're gonna to be doing my Mugen steering wheel. This is an exclusive to the United States and King Motorsports. It is the black leather with the red stitching. Uh, if you order this steering wheel from any other retailer, I believe you only get the suede. We also have a Worksbell quick release and a Worksbell short hub. So I'm excited because these are some uh, good quality products. And for all you Honda nerds out there, there is also an NSXR horn button, uh, which is not cheap either, but I think it really ties the whole look together. All right, so I did the first part of the install already. Uh, I've assembled the quick release with the horn and the steering wheel. Uh, it gets more complicated when you start actually disassembling the OEM one. So let's get to it. Okay, let me start off by saying that this is the first time I've ever done a steering wheel install, and if I could do it, I'm pretty sure anyone can. So, to begin, you're going to disconnect the battery so that you don't accidentally set off the airbag and kill yourself. Second, you're going to pop off the plastic pieces on each side of the steering wheel so that you can access the two bolts that hold the airbag in place. Once you remove the two bolts, slide the airbag out carefully and disconnect it from the steering wheel. Ooh, getting hot in here, dude. And I did not die. <laughs> I did not die. Now you're gonna disconnect the remaining plugs, which includes the cruise control and the ground wire. At this point, you're gonna crack the bolt loose, but make sure you have a good grip on it, unlike me. And from here on out, you want to make sure the steering wheel is always centered at 12 o'clock. You're not going to take the bolt off all the way because you're going to use that to keep it in place so the wheel doesn't fly and hit you in the face. There she is. All right, let's take a quick break to see what these guys are doing. Oh, we're just <laughs> still trying it's to... embarrassing. Don't even open that thing up. <laughs> all right, we're even... quick. Grilling and doing an install. Dude, this is a nice, nice weekend here. All right, per usual, we have uh, Mark. Mark over here. Jose's over there manning the grill right now. <laughs> and uh, this is the short hub. So we're gonna pop this in. You're gonna use this little dot here as the indicator of 12 o'clock. Uh, make sure your steering wheel is already at 12 o'clock. And then uh, we're going to pop this in, run the wiring through, and uh, and then, patch everything up. Okay, so I jumped the gun a little bit. Um, I, for my car, I have to shave off just a little portion, maybe like one ring here, in order to get it to sit flush without uh, causing too much pressure on the plastic piece behind it. So we're gonna cut one ring off and then uh, we're gonna start assembling the short hub and uh, button everything up. Okay, not, not the cleanest job here, but uh, I took one ring off and I think that'll be enough clearance, so. Again, you can use the indicator to make sure everything is lined up at 12 o'clock. You're gonna pull the wires through and make sure nothing is pinched. Then you can start by hand screwing in the bolt and then finally torquing it down to spec, which should be 29 foot pounds. From here, you can start to plug everything back in, starting with the resistor for the airbag light. It basically just relays it back into itself and it should come in your kit. Lastly, we're gonna to put together the rest of the quick release, which includes the ground wire in the sandwich plate and the horn connection. Now all you have to do is line up the holes and make sure that you're not pinching any of the wires. Go ahead and hand tighten everything, followed by tightening everything up in a star pattern so that you apply even pressure. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. It feels good, but I feel like the OEM SGK wheel, I like that thickness. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's bigger. Okay, what do we think? Well, no airbag, so fuck it, right? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no airbag life. Let's get a little outside shot in case everyone forgot. This thing is looking cool, man. Again, fall in love with this car more and more with every modification. Oh, we got to do the shift knob. So I ended up going with a silver one instead. This thing, uh, I mean, it just looks great. Um, obviously, I'm a sucker for the Mugen parts. But, you know, I got this one. I don't really know if I want it anymore. So maybe, maybe I'll give it away at like a, like a cool milestone, like a thousand subs or something. So uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, um, and uh, we'll keep the cool modifications coming. That's the Renegade short shifter. I still have no complaints. I still think it's awesome. But I think the silver ties in a lot better with the rest of the interior pieces. And uh, it will with the steering wheel as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Take care.